Hi friends, in this session I am going to show uh, aggregation operations like add fields, count and limit. Add fields is to add a new field to the existing documents. The output of add fields document contains uh, all the documents which are already there in, uh, and plus the newly added document. So we can add new document and what are the previous documents are available it will be written. It's same like a uh, project, dollar project. So dollar count is to get the actual count of the records like uh, it passes the document to the next stage that contains the count of the number of documents in the input to this stage. So it is like the previous uh, stage how many records are written to this stage it will return that count. Dollar lim limit is to limit the number of document passed to the next stage in the pipeline. Using this limit we can only pass only the limited element to the next pipeline stage. So now I'm going to RoboMongo to show how to use these operations. So now I'm going to use my agri accounts uh, op tab collection. So th this is having list of uh, document. So now by using add field I'm going to add uh, full name. Full name is uh, first name plus last name. So I'm going to use dollar add fields. So it is full name. So I'm going to use dollar concat to add these two names. Dollar concat. Add dollar first name comma in between I will put colon with space comma last name and close the array and close this. See when I uh, run this I got full name uh, with respect to the existing document it added one more field called full name which is contain first name plus last name. So I can add uh, multiple add uh, fields at same line or I can add uh, one more add field to add one more document. Example if I want to add one more add field. This time maybe uh, I'll add uh, what is the uh, opening balance. Just add fields, colon, I'm going to add the balance, I'm going to give the name as balance, inside that I'm giving the value of opening balance, opening balance, it's just create one more field which holds the opening balance value. Sorry, I missed the dollar symbol. That's why it's saying unrecognized pipeline. So when I uh, run this, it added one more uh, column balance, which is holding the value of existing opening balance. So I can use uh, add field based on the condition I can add the values. Example, if my uh, whether I have crossed the current day limit. In my example, I'm taking if you are transferring more than 50,000, you are done for the current day. So what I'll do, I'll do one more add field. Add fields. So I'm going to do uh, it based on the condition. I'm going to give the name as is uh, current day uh, limit is done. Is current, current date limit is done. So this is the my field name. Inside that I am going to use dollar condition based on the condition. If it is above 50,000 I will say uh, you are done for today else I will say you have option. So dollar condition it takes the array. So dollar greater than or equal to So this greater than or equal to takes two values. One is the my 
transfer amount. The other one is I am taking as 50,000. Comma 50,000. So what I am doing, if it is greater than or equal to 50,000, I will say yes. Else I will say no. You are not done for today. No means you are not done for today. You have still limit to do the transfer. See when I run, see uh, wherever the transfer amount is 50,000, it was giving X. See this transaction is 50,000. So it was giving X. Yes, here it is S. Actually, I should uh, sum that based on the account, then I have to do this. Maybe what I can do? I'll use uh, dollar group with sum and then uh, whether I, uh, it is above 50,000, then I can do that. So, but for now, j just for showing how to use dollar condition inside ad field, I was running on this uh, each document. So like this, I can just add conditions. If you want to print some value here, I can pass uh, that example. If I want to give transfer account number, I can pass like dollar transfer account. That also is possible. So if you want to insert uh, ad fields inside the uh, embedded document, that also we can do. So uh, I'll use employee collection because employee collection, collection is having embedded documents. So this is my employee collection. So what I'll do, I'll try to add some document here inside uh, hobbies. I'll add uh, some value. Maybe I'll add um, using dollar ad fields. So it is inside the degrees degrees dot I'm giving some random uh, what I can add like a award I'm giving you have completed So inside degrees dot av uh, award, it should be getting completed. See when I run this, award got added inside the degrees array object. Each object it got added. And uh, because I have hard coded the value completed, it inserted completed in, in all the documents. Example, if I want to add some documents to the existing array also I can do. I example, I want to add one more hobby to the uh, existing hobbies, I can use add fields to add new ho hobby. So what I'll do, I'll add some two hobbies to existing hobbies. I'll use dollar add fields. So I'm going to insert it to hobbies. So I'm using hobbies. My field name is hobbies. In this obvious, I'm going to add. So I'm going to use concat array, dollar concat array. Cat array. It, it takes array argument. So first one is my hobbies. And second one is uh, whatever the hobbies I'm going to add. I'm going to add walking and dancing. Let's check whether I have closed properly. It's concat arrays. So when I run this, see each document will be added with walking and dancing. Inside hobbies, we are able to add two more arguments. So we can, uh, using add fields, I can add elements in inside array or elements inside the object. So we can add at any level using add fields. Next one is dollar count. Example, if I want to find how many records are available at this stage, I can use dollar count. And what is the name I'm going to get? So dollar count. I'll use name as total count, total count. 
and close this. When I run, I will get the total count. So, we have total 6 records are available. So, we can use dollar count or I can use uh, with dollar group by and projection. That also we can do. This do same as uh, instead of this, what I will do? Dollar project. dollar group by underscore id Addict. so it's uh, underscore id is i'm passing null and here uh, i'm taking total count count which is aggregation operation of dollar sum colon 1 Closing this one two, with dollar project colon underscore id zero colon zero. So I'll explain this dollar project in my next session. For now, it displays the documents. See when I run, we got the same total count is six. Uh, so I can use either dollar count or I can use with the group by and uh, uh, and then dollar project. Uh, whichever way we want, we can do that. So we'll be able to get how many records are there at that uh, pipeline stage. So next one is a dollar limit. Example, now we have uh, six records. If I run this, I'm getting six records. Uh, if I want to uh, take only two records of this, I can use dollar limit. It will pass only two records to the next stage. Dollar limit. I'll give two. See, when I run this, it got only two records. So it will pass only two records. But uh, we should be very careful when you are using dollar sort with dollar limit. If you are sorting, the order will be changed based on either ascending or uh, descending. In the de uh, default, you might be in the underscore, uh, it will be sorted in the underscore ID order. So, based on your need, you have to check. So, the limit will pass how many records you want to the next stage. That is for dollar limit. Thank you friends. Please subscribe to my channel.